What if the driving force behind all human actions and desires was a single powerful will? A will not just for survival, but for power, creativity, and self-overcoming. This is the intriguing concept of will to power introduced by the renowned philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. In the labyrinthine corridors of Nietzsche's thought, one encounters the will to power, a concept as captivating as it is complex. It's not merely a lust for domination or control, but a fundamental, irrational force that permeates every individual, propelling us toward various ends. The will to power can be seen as a psychological, biological, or even metaphysical principle, depending on the lens through which one views it. At its core, Nietzsche's will to power is a fundamental drive found in everyone. It manifests in myriad ways, from the ambition of a budding entrepreneur to the creativity of an artist, from the desire for domination in a dictator to the quest for self-overcoming in a philosopher. The invisible hand sculpts our actions, desires, and ultimately, our lives. Nietzsche contrasts master morality and slave morality, tracing back to the will to power. While master morality values pride, strength, and nobility, Slave morality values kindness, empathy, and sympathy. However, both are just different expressions of the same underlying will. The will to power itself is neutral, raw energy that can be channeled into various pursuits. Nietzsche, however, places a premium on expressions of it that are creative, beautiful, and life-affirming. He emphasizes the sublimation of the will to power into constructive activities and self-transformation, painting a picture of a force that can be harnessed for the betterment of the individual and society. In essence, Nietzsche's will to power is not a doctrine of domination, but a call to harness our deepest drives towards creative and constructive ends. It's an invitation to channel our natural will towards self-improvement and life-affirming actions. To summarize, the will to power is a fundamental drive inherent in every individual, capable of manifesting in numerous ways. It underpins Nietzsche's contrasting concepts of master morality and slave morality. While the will to power is neutral, Nietzsche values its expressions as creative, beautiful, and life-affirming, encouraging us to channel this force into constructive activities and self-transformation. So the next time you feel a surge of ambition, a spark of creativity, or a desire for self-improvement. Remember, it could be your very own will to power making itself known. Harness it, channel it, and let it propel you towards your goals. Before we part ways, remember to give a thumbs up if you found this journey through Nietzsche's will to power enlightening, and do subscribe for more philosophical insights. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep growing.